Hello and welcome back. I hope all of you are doing well. Today, I'm going to share with you a very interesting topic that is how to access web pages for information that you need in your Excel spreadsheet. So we are going to directly access the list of banks, let's say in the United States of America and get them directly here in our Excel spreadsheet. But before we move on to today's subject, I would like to thank our sponsors for today, sqlspreadsheet.com. They have a very interesting portfolio and we'll walk through that at the end of this video. So stay tuned for more with me. Without any further ado, the feature today I want to show you is how to access the data from a website. So simply you have to go to the data, as you can see on your screen and on the data you find from web over there, but where from web? So let's simply go into um, my browser. In the browser, I have this Wikipedia link where we have all the list of the banks available for us. So the list is there, how to put it into spreadsheet because this list is also being updated quite regularly. So I don't want to copy paste it. I just want to keep it linked into my spreadsheet. So I go back to my spreadsheet. Sorry, what I did was, let me show you. I just copied from the top the link of the address. So this is the address bar and the address bar. I picked up the link or hyperlink of this website. I go down into data again. In the data, I click on the web. And when I click on the web, I can simply wait for a moment when Excel will start a dialogue with me. So Excel will ask me basically what kind of website I'm interested to fetch information from. Excel has no idea what I'm looking for. So from web, but where? And here you put that link that you copied and press OK. So when you press OK, Excel will take some time to negotiate and discuss with the server, connect over there, start bringing the information that what exactly Excel can offer you from this website. So a navigator pane will open and there you will find a list of multiple tables. So you can click and see what is the, uh, let's say, material available in this, what is the content of that table in the uh, right hand side in the table view. Okay, this content is not useful for you. Click on the table zero, that's the next one. And there you find the information that you need, the ranking and the names and other details of those backs. Simply click on the load. And the moment you load the information, it's going down into your spreadsheet. Be patient at this point of time with Excel while Excel is processing your queries. Um, and this is being done. It depends on the size of the information on the website. It can take a little bit longer than usual as well. So just stay patient. Now the queries are loaded. All the tables are um, merged into that. And now this information is available for you to use as you like. So all the information from the website, 130, um, it, actually it's a three uh, are, are extra without ranking. So it goes down to 100 top banks in the United States of America. You can see them. You can see the call, the, their location, the headquarters, their total assets as uh, in, in uh, US dollars. You can see the capital requirements and market capitalization as well. This information is available for you to look up, copy paste, whatever you want to do with that. It's available for you for the further use it. I hope you enjoyed it, fellows. Now I'll go back to, to my sponsors and I will show you what do they have for us. So um, spreadsheet and connection of SQL, I think sometimes it can be very tricky. So this had been made easy by sqlspreadsheets.com. Go down there, you can try this for free as well. This is basically an add-in in Excel in order to allow the end users to securely update the information uh, and data in SQL servers. So the features that, that you would anticipate here is, I mean, there are many managed benefits of this. There are management and update of centralized data through Excel as well. You can also find some good interfacing as well. And the very interesting topic for me is that you really don't need to, to learn any coding for this. So no coding required for yourself. Um, you can you can just, you know, it's a, it's a very easy user interface. So you can use that. It's easy to maintain as well. It's, it's helping you with the validation, et cetera, as well. So quite interesting features. I would recommend you to go down to the link that is in the description, excelspreadsheets.com, visit them, try them out. I mean, there is, there is really no cost for that. You can go for a free trial and do share your feedback in the feedback section. I will bring more details and practical demonstration of their products in future. Um, till then, stay tuned. And I look forward for your comments on today's video in the comment section. 
again, have a wonderful day, uh, folks. And don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't subscribe my channel yet, I have understood and realized that a lot of you are coming over, watching the videos, but you don't click the subscribe button. Then what happens is you lose the opportunity to get information and notification of my new video. So please, 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 if you are the first timer, do not forget to subscribe my channel. And I look forward to speak with you on more interesting topics in future. Till then, stay very safe, take good care of yourself and ta-da.